stocks wavering today, but honing in on big tech. What are technical indicators saying about where Tesla and Meta are heading? Data from Oppenheimer showing that Meta is poised to outperform and honing in on Tesla despite Today's pullback technical indicator showing that it's trying to make a bullish reversal. Here to break it all down, we want to bring in Ari Wald. He's the head of technical analysis at Oppenheimer. We just had the meta chart up on the board. We also have a Tesla chart that you sent over in your most recent note. But Ari, just taking a step back, because this is really at the crux of your note that you sent over, that you were distinguishing between buying growth or buying beta to gain exposure to the market upside that you see. So walk us through your thesis and where you are seeing that opportunity. Uh, sure, and I'll even take you know a step uh, back from there. How we you know just to lay it all out is you know just thinking for the market as a whole. Uh, I think the key positive here is that market breadth remains firm. It argues against a major top and instead supports higher highs. Looking out into year end, we have a new high in the NYSE advanced decline line. We got the equal weighted S and P five hundred coming off new cycle highs, and the percentage of NYSE stocks above their 200-day average coming off uh, a level of 66 percent. I think as long as that reading is above 60 percent, it's a, a healthy reading. So for all these reasons, we do think that the bull cycle is intact and it's positioned to um, move higher into 2025. As far as exposure, uh, there, there was some uh, uh, changes in the leadership backdrop during that late summer move that we, we had a change in the high beta versus low volatility ratio we had interest rates break lower and um, some of the high beta stocks were not able to keep up with some of the higher dividend paying uh, lower volatility names um, and so for market upside you know we're, we'd love to see beta come back I, I think it would be important for the cycle if it can reclaim that reader, leadership role but really the more compelling idea here for uh, for us is buying these higher growth companies. I think the scarcity premium comes back uh, against a lower growth backdrop for these names. Thinking about the NASDAQ 100 as a proxy for that or just the Russell 1000 growth. It has underperformed since the summer, but I think through this rotational nature, it is set up to lead again. It did a good job holding up support levels. Uh, and so for that reason, um, you know, it's for us, it's growth for the long term. I think this is a growth in tech led secular bull. And then on a near term basis, it's become tactically attractive uh, to buy that style as well. So talk to me then just a little bit more about the Tesla of it all, because uh, as of this morning, they had some news about deliveries coming in a little bit underwhelming. Obviously, the robo taxi event is the next potential big catalyst that investors are looking for. But since you're a technicals guy, do the kind of technicals that you see on the charts that I know you look at all the time, Ari, indicate a growth story for Tesla that those fundamental pieces of company news just might not be capturing right now? Well, it, it's uh, one of the Mag Seven stocks that has had a difficult time in recent years. It's 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 technically been making a series of lower highs, but it's starting to make uh, some higher lows as well. So it's been in this narrowing range, but we're starting to see some signs. And I guess we're siding with the fact that you have some top-down strength just based on the support from these uh, higher, you know, large-cap growth companies. That this reversal uh, should ultimately resolve to the upside. There, there's more that's needed. It's more of a rotation idea. Uh, but uh, there are some signs that the, the trends are showing incremental improvement and uh, could continue to grind higher. I think really the, the standout idea, the leadership name would be Meta Platforms, a name that had been in a consolidation range and through that summer volatility showed terrific resilience and relative strength. And now as market conditions firm, is breaking out to the upside. So for us, it's meta for leadership. I think that's perhaps the most constructive and, and bullish MAG7 chart. And then for rotation, uh, looking at a, a stock like Tesla, which is not yet at, at new all-time highs, but over the coming months to perhaps quarters, maybe got to give that one a little bit more time, it could ultimately get there again.